Hello and welcome to Infinity. There are a number of ways of covering up things in Affinity Photo and we can look at three, in fact a new one which I haven't covered before. The first and most used really is the clone brush. So for example I alt click somewhere uh, it leaves a little plus sign there so I'm going to copy from there. I can then with the background selected, copy and cover something up. However, it's very easy with this to have something that's copied doesn't quite fit in, and you can also end up with these. So we go, there we go, it's a little pointer. Edges. You can see the edge between things. That was because I had a fairly hard brush, but you can still get things that don't look quite right. So let's undo that. Another way of working it is with the, if I right click over here and go to the in painting brush and then you can point over something and magically it removes it and it's generally pretty good at that when there is like this a lot of stuff around you can figure out how to fill in and fade away the edges although you still can get replication. So this little ripple here, you can see has reappeared here because Affinity is clever, but not clever enough to say, I don't want to get some sort of strange duplications. So let's look at a third one, which is, let's control Z back, back again, right click here and the healing brush and the healing brush is halfway between the clone brush, brush and the in painting brush. So I point to a source and I alt click in exactly the same way as I do with the clone. However, when I paint it, it will try and fill things in and it, it'll fade out the edges. And though I'm looking like this, the moment I get things covered, there you go, and let go of the, that. Now it's done very much like the in painting brush there has done. And so it, it's kind of that halfway stage. See, and let, let's have a look at using it. Let's go to this over here. Let's take this, this sort of board here. If I go to the in painting brush and see if I can paint that away with this, what do I get? thinks about this. No, look at that. It's, it's copied from the other side, doesn't it? So it really has made a hash of that. So that didn't work. So I'll undo that. So if I go to the healing brush, what can happen with this? If I alt click like up here, make it a little bit smaller. The size of the brush can be important. Line it up over there. So I use it to copy, copy somewhere with a line and I line it up so I know that it's kind of accurate there and I start painting in this. What you start to get, you get, get like a bit of a fade. Here yeah, see the way the, the, the cross here, it's not the same colour as the wall. You know I can continue going like that and it's just it's not going to do it. We've got a bit of this up here from somewhere. So in other words it's not great at that where there is detail. So in this sort of circumstance then a clone brush might be better because I've got more control with it. So I alt click on that. Now I'm going to paint down here. I know that I've got a 100% hardness on this, which makes it very obvious. But see, I'm going to do it to show how you can use the healing brush. And that's simply where, where there is this. So I can alt click out here and I paint over the edge here. Look at the way that's worked to, to tidy up that areas there. See the way that's filled this in quite well. You're still going to get replication here. So you've got this, this little thing. See this here, here and here are all very similar. But you can still then reduce the size of the mouth, mouse, alt click and do over. Oops over painting of those areas, anything that looks like it's it's unnatural. But then with the 
clone brush you can get into a lot more detail I can copy things from up here so on down here and tidy it up quite a lot I can also use the brush which isn't quite so hard so the edges here are not so bad anyway but there you go that shows this healing brush tool in particular is a useful halfway house and a really good use for it is tidying up cloning where it's a get too obvious because it automatically does those fades off you thank you very much for watching